Okay, so here we go again here. We'll we'll check this uh it's unbalanced a little bit. Well we'll check this laptop out. Yeah, obviously no, this is another computer I just received uh just received it today. It is uh twenty seventh and I received this from shopgoodwill.com. So we'll go over like the, the ports on it because it seems like a pretty nice laptop, you know, like if you can read this here, it says uh price shop goodwill. Starting bid $25. Uh, buy now $50. So I went ahead and bit and bought this, right? I went ahead and bought now this because it's an it's an 8 gen i7. So I was like, so what I have. So this is supposed to be an HP Elite Book 850 G5 7 an i7, 16 gigs of RAM. It, it's supposed to have no no storage in it, and for shipping, I paid eleven dollars and forty two cents. Uh, handling was four dollars and fifty cents. Tax was three dollars and fifty cents. Weird that you pay tax on items from Goodwill. So my grand total for this, which is not including a power cord, it didn't come with the power adapter. So my grand total on this is sixty nine. 45 so you watch my other video you see that I had another adapter you know I, we're going to compare this later on because this is my main game this is not a gaming computer this is my main basic laptop and has an an 8 gen i5 in it so we're going to compare that later on to this this should have better onboard graphics it's still just the four cores eight threads but obviously I got the, I showed from this other video, this non completely dead motherboard and every single part of this thing is completely broken besides this back cover and the surrounding for the screen. But then the little rubber tabs are gone. But the guy who gave me this said, you know, you fix it, do whatever. And uh, I still have the power charger, char charger for this. So, so far I got, I, I got a battery out of this for that. You know, for that other HP computer, and now I'm getting a charger for this one. So I don't have any money into a charger, so I still, you know, I'm still, besides have to put an NVMe SSD in here, I'm still going to have the, you know, 6942 into it. You now, so just, uh, let's open this up. You can see here, it even has the original sticker that they put on them, you know. Let's take this off here. So we have the 8th gen, 8th gen i5. I don't know if you'll be able to read this, but it says we have an i7 8650U. I, I was hoping it'd have a better, I could find, you know, a better CPU off of one of these. And then 16 gigs of RAM. It says it has uh, Intel UHD graphics 620 same graphics as my other one so the graphics wise isn't going to be much we'll have to just have to see how much cpu power more power we're getting this is hdmi and all this it says boots to bios uh battery life normal uh no power adapter included and then has the all the rest of the information on there right so seems pretty nice i don't know uh looks like it has physically two cameras on here here and here i don't think so what are these really? What we'll the? I have to look into that. There's definitely not the. I wouldn't think that's a camera because it got the little slide deal over the camera here. See that? There's a there's a camera here. It has a slide deal over it. So I'm not for sure what these are. Are these lights? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out later on when we get it working, right? So the screen is dirty, but it's not broken or not in the keyboard. Keyboard seems really nice. Right? Yeah, the keyboard seems really nice. There's no, you know, no real shininess to it. Just, just hit the power button and see if it actually has any. And the power light came on. So the battery has a charge in it. Oh, and the screen's damaged. 
So since some info, we do have an i7 8750U, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. But yeah, they didn't say anything about the screen being physically damaged. No drive in it. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to do the same thing kind of with mine. It's going to be too big of a screwdriver. No. Okay, there's cap shirt. That's nice. And this is all metal. So that's another thing I like about it too. This might not even open. Like there's damage on this one corner. Okay, there you go. Come out pretty easy. So here's the bottom. We got a lot of plastic on it plus the metal. Sorry about the motorcycle noise. It's going to happen. It's getting nice outside. <clears throat> and where I live, no big buildings. So everyone in the world wants to come down here with their motorcycles. <clears throat> so yeah, as you can see here, we have no no NVMe but we do have the screw that goes into it the fan looks a little bit dusty and you can hear the dogs sorry about the dog too that someone's downstairs here's the battery pretty small battery so this battery is a TT03 XL I'm trying to see where the watt hours are but right here so it's 56 watt hour battery seems pretty small for that so you just put this in it should boot up and run fine if they're both 8th gen you know graphics are both the same it would have been nice to you know open this up and it had like either a 9 they you know some of these they put in the 940 M's I, I don't know how much better that is than the onboard but that kind of would have been nice to open this up and then this would this would have been populated so it would have like four gigs of ram you know uh vram in it that kind of would have been nice right like yeah then that could have would have made up for the screen so this part will be hard to, to get back in there i'll have to figure out a way to try to straighten that back up so yeah there's uh there's that little flicker in that line it just showed back up so yeah the monitor definitely the screen definitely needs to be replaced so i'll have to look in the you know throwing a new monitor in here because that would that would kind of bother me right so i believe everything else is on here like unigen heaven's already on here we'll check and see what we have you little device manager and see if everything's on here yeah we that that flicker is probably because the screen got damaged somewhere along here oh excuse me so we do have drivers missing basic system drivers uh intel high depth audio un, and then unknown device but our audio should be here our video should be here you know and everything else so i'll do Oh, yeah, we got our, we have our four core, we do have a four core eight thread CPU. This is home on this computer, so. And I do have it in dark mode, so you do, you can see, you know, you can see, you can see it. In the world is a flicker at this I can't tell because I got a real heavy light right here you move this over okay there you go you can kind of see it but it, it's worse here right so yeah I have to look into replacing a screen on it or and stuff like that so yeah it's getting it's getting worse as we use it. See, now look at the line. Now it's a big pink strip on there. Of course, getting caught. So there's a huge, like, big pink strip there. 
So yeah, it's getting worse as we use it. Like I said, I already have, you know, um, Half Life, Half Life Two on here, Unigen Heaven, and I, and I have the Senate Edge. So I'll let this do the updates. Make sure it's all good there. Restart it, obviously, a couple times, and then I'll run, you know, Cinebench R23, and then I'll run Unigen Heaven, and I'll record them numbers there, and we can see what it does. Obviously, it isn't going to be that much better. Uh, I'll try to, you know, s pull up my sheet that has my numbers for my Cinebench R15 for my i5. You know, it's still an 8th gen, this is i7, and see how how far this is off from, you know, mine. I, I, I can almost live with this too, especially for the money I gave for it. And then I just, you know, put my i7, my i5 system up for sale. And I just leave this like this for now until I run across something that has this kind of screen in it. Maybe I already have something. No, I, I don't think I have anything. The closest thing I have is that other Acer but but yeah this is where I'm gonna cut this part of the video the next part of this video will actually be showing you know the these two two benchmarks on this thing and see how it actually runs and we just finished Unigen Heaven and we got and I come up here I guess I could start doing you know like screen capturing of this so you can see a better a better picture of it because it does have uh, an HDMI out. I didn't even go over that. Yeah, so we have a SIM card slot, uh, USB 3.0, HDMI, Ethernet, and I got a Thunderbolt right here. That's nice, right? Or whatever. Fireport, whatever. Okay? Yeah, you should know that you work on computers all the time. Yeah, but my brain's pretty much forgets everything. So then we got a USB 3.0. We got the little lightning thing here too. And then we got the card slot here. A decent sized trackpad and then we got the little clickers up here for the numpad you know the little you know num num <laughs> numpad or whatever you want to call it you know little 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 deal here right so on this is low setting uh, yeah low settings it's still 19 1920 by 1080 p FPS wise we got 32.0 we got a score of 806, it says minimum FPS 14.1, max FPS 59.9, so it's not bad, you know, and obviously I have to look at the other video about my Dell, it should be exactly the same, they have the same onboard graphics, right? Let's close this one out since we already see the numbers. Yeah, and this the screen is getting worse as it as time goes on. Like that bar was just a little bit over here, about halfway, and now it's that thick. And these stuff is coming out farther too. Like this weird, this weird stuff right here. I don't know if you can see it. Right here in the screen is kind of pushed his way out more and it only got a 2,631 so that doesn't seem it doesn't seem right it should have should have got a better number than that because uh, I have my numbers for I hate how this paper is in this one. so um, I said this is my this is my 8th gen i5 from Dell 16 gigs of RAM it had the same SSD and this has all the drivers on it it's I, I did all that that laptop with an i5 80 8350U got 2791 so this i7, HN i7, actually got a lower score than my fifth, than my i5. Yeah, they're both HN. That's an i5. This is an i7. They're both four cores, eight threads. Like, let's see. You know, it looks pretty good. 
besides I need to take this sticker off, this sticker off, this off here, do a little cleaning, and then, you know, obviously straighten up, straighten up the corner, like, let's see, I don't even think that was, yeah, I'm looking at the back, like, that wasn't even, like, that wasn't even on there. Did they send me the wrong one? No way. Like, did they act? Did they send me the wrong laptop? I I, I kind of think. Kind of think maybe they sent me the wrong laptop because they did have multiple up there. Kind of thinking maybe they sent me the wrong laptop because on mine it looks on this corner, this corner down here. It actually looks like this foot's missing on the one I want. So this one's missing on the one I won and now obviously this one's here, right? Did they have this stuff on the back? I uh, just see anything else different. Yeah, in my pictures, in the pictures of the listing I want, there is no dent right here. There is absolutely no dent right here. So someone, if this is the laptop I won, and someone still dropped it, as you can see right here, this was not, this was not, it's not in the pictures of it being damaged. Like the, let's pull you off of here. So this is, this is a listing I want. Now look, there's the corner right there. And you come over here and you can see that is bent. This actually is underneath it. See what I mean? I uh, kind of, kind of, come on, let go. So this this corner, this metal is actually underneath it. So that's how it was. So you see that? So you can clearly see that's dented in. But over here, it is not. This corner is good here too. We got, you know, a red pin mark here. We got a red pin mark here. So I think someone dropped this, which probably caused the screen to be cracked. This little piece here is a little bit damaged. That could be fixed, you know. I, I could probably straighten that back up, hopefully without messing it up. You know, the finish of it up. And then this right here is also damaged. We're gonna call the video right here. I'm gonna say my normal thing, you know, have a good night, have a, you know, good day, good night, good evening, or whatever. And thank you for watching.